And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Right at our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. one 800 866 It's like us 101. The ongoing on-air adult education course teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women... How men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Robert of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, or, hey Tom. Hey. Uh, I married a bitch with baggage and uh, signed a prenup and uh, ended up marrying her, got a divorce, uh, she, and she ended up suing me for marrying under false pretenses. Got two hundred and fifty thousand, and I pay child support for a child that's not mine. I warned you about that, didn't I? You did, and you, you did. thought Stay away you from it. you thought you knew more than I did, didn't you? I did. Did I you did. know more than I know? Not anymore. I don't. I listen to everything. You know, I, I go through a divorce. She got uh, sole possession of a house in Palos Verdes until the divorce was final. Which took a year and a half. She got two hundred fifty thousand out of me. New car, paying for child support. Whose kid child, is that? Whose whose kid is that? It's her ex's. Yeah, and I wrote I wrote a couple letters to her while I was out of state. You know, before we got married, telling her you know I was you know ready. You know, I'll take care of you and and the, and oh, the kid. Oh, good work, Ace. Yeah, she saved those letters and ended up suing me for. Fault, marrying under false pretenses. You got That's everything. You know what? You got everything you deserved. I did. I'm telling these guys, don't do it. I'll never put a ring on another bitch's finger. Never. Hang on a second. Tell that to Junior. Junior, tell Robert what you were about to tell me. Junior, this is me. Hey, uh, Robert. Yeah. That was divorced. 14 years. I did a lot of whoring around. Something came and flipped the wrong switch on, and they got married again. Younger woman. <laughs> I thought I had it made. No. About two years Don't later. I'm, not, I'm 33 years old. I'll well, die. I'm, I'm 40. I'm 46. Yeah. Let me tell you my story. Two years later, baby. Last year, full pension was supposed to retire. Well, guess what? I'm a guy to work for another 20 years. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, sorry. Can't say that. Sorry, sorry, Tom. You know, I've gotten more bitches, though, since I've been divorced. And, you, you know, I've got my financial, you know, financial back in, in, you know, decent standing and stuff. But she took me for a lot, you know. And the kid that called in earlier, oh, she's, she's of a different cut. And she's not the same. Oh, they're all the same. They're all the same. They'll get whatever they can for. Uh, they're all out for one thing. So, one Junior, do you, Junior, so you, they're Junior, they're all out for security. As soon as they find the dummy that's going to give it up, they got it. So, Junior, why did you get remarried? Honestly, I really don't know. I guess I got uh, to myself. I thought I was just bored and tired of messing around. I thought this was the right one, but you know what? It's like you say, it's not yourself, and it's. Just marriage itself. Yeah. yeah. I wish I listened. I wish I had listened to Tom seven years ago. <laughs> you had listened to the show. You just didn't pay attention to what I said. Didn't pay attention. Didn't pay attention. Thought you knew more. You probably mocked me. You probably thought that I was crazy. I thought like the other did, kid did. Oh, this one's different. She isn't going to do that. She was willing to sign a prenup even. She signed a prenup. 
Yeah, but took me to court with some letters that I had written to her and a couple letters that some bitch was writing me during well, the time I was courting her. You stupidly put that <laughs> stuff in writing. Yeah. Yep. You after yourself. So never again, never again. There's too much out there, you know. You can get everything. You can have the milk without buying the cow. And, and many of them are cows. And there, yeah, a lot of them are cows. So anyway, Tom, thanks a lot, and just I hope people really listen to you. I hope these guys out there listen to what you have to say because, you know, you're right on, right on. Well, thank you for that, Robert. I appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Angel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, first of all, I wanted to tell you that I am very glad you're on the air to speak to the men who fall into your generalizations because I do think your generalizations are accurate. Uh, and I think that if they listen to you, then they will... Um, the we your vice weeds out the exceptions. The men are the exceptions, and they make it uh, they're accessible to the women that are the exceptions to your generalization. Um, I also wanted to ask you if uh, your advice to men of single mothers also applies to women of single fathers. Uh, it may very well. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I, who wants to take on other people's responsibilities? I don't understand that. I mean, I agree with you. I think that, you know, generalizations are based on reality. And, um, but I think that, uh, you know, as unlikely as it is, you know, as, as big as the ocean is and as unlikely as it is that people will find their match, your advice is basically that people just should never get married. No one should get married. Well, men should not get married. It's, it's just not worth it to them. Oh. Well, I mean, I, I think it's sad that you're, probably right 90 percent of the time um, there's just no benefit to men to get married there's nothing men get by getting married that they can't get by not getting married i think that good men become victims more often than not but i think a good man can get a lot of a lot out of a marriage yeah, that, out of is, a good marriage there's not the thing is signing that contract doesn't guarantee anything that he couldn't get otherwise that's true. That's true. I mean, it's and the bottom line is, I I hope that if nothing else, that your advice stops a lot of people, a lot of stupid people from breeding. You know, there was a time, just so you understand, uh, this didn't happen by accident. This concept of of marriage and the state getting involved in it. There was a time when you could not have sex with somebody without a license, a marriage license. There was a time when you could not cohabitate with someone uh, without having a marriage license. When I first moved to Maricopa County, Arizona in 1985, it was still against the law for unmarried people to live together. But those days have changed. You now do not need a license to have sex. You do not need a license to live with someone. You do not need a license to have children. What is it that you get out of getting married that you can't get by not being married? You can have children. You can have sex. Well, I mean, I, I, I agree with you for the most part. But, I mean, I also think that if that rule applied, you know, if a lot of people live by that rule, then no one would take on a challenge. You know, no one. No man needs that challenge. You just heard that caller earlier. Uh, he, he ignored my uh, advice and he got screwed. That's a very sad story, but at the same time, if he went into it feeling the, the need to sign a prenuptial agreement, then he should have known better. He should have thought twice. Well, if, you know, everybody should, should sign up. Everybody who gets married should be signing a prenuptial agreement. Everybody. Every man. Well, every man that, I mean, it's, I'm not disagreeing with you, but that, so that doesn't apply to women? I mean, women. Well, not, be, 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 most women don't want to sign a prenuptial agreement. Well, I, my best friend... The only women who want to sign a prenuptial agreement are women who have more money than the guy they're marrying. And that's quickly becoming, you know, a lot more common. Than it's it not that... They, well, put it this way. It's still not that common. And no, it's not. You're right. Um, 
I don't know. I, just, I, I hope people are listening. I, I hope because I think that there are there is a large cross section of the population that can really, really benefit from your advice. So I hope they listen and good for you. <laughs> well, thank you for that, Angel. I appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Nick on the Tom Likas Show. It's Likas 101. How you doing, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing all right, but I just want to say that, uh, man, you know, I just, um, I just started watching your show or whatever, and I'm hearing all the stuff that you say. Where are you, outside the door? I'm sorry? Are you outside the door? A little bit. I'm driving. No, I mean outside my door. You said you just started watching the show. Oh, yeah, you know what Where I mean. Where are you like, watching from? On the radio. Oh, you just started listening to the show. Oh, I see that. You got trying to be funny. <laughs> no, there's nothing funny about it. You said you're watching the show. Okay, but, okay, okay, but uh, let me... Maybe um, you're a stalker. I don't know. Let me say my statement, Tom. Can I do that? I don't know if you can do that. I know I can do it right now. Are you ready? I'm waiting. Okay, well, I just want to let you know that I'm 23 years old and I am married. Everything is going good. Uh, my wife is good to me. She cooks. She cleans. You know, so she does a housekeeper. No, she's not a housekeeper. I said so does a housekeeper. Right, right. It's a right. lot what cheaper. Is, I'm, ha I'm happy to be married. And I just want to uh, let everybody All right, know. well. I love my wife. We'll, oh, boy. Meow. Are your balls in her purse? Look, let me tell you something, Nick. Hey, you've been married a year and a half. Let's see what happens after she gets you to have children. And then the real stress begins and she starts cutting off the sex. And she starts criticizing you for not taking care of the children and all the stuff you have to look forward to. No, you know why? Oh, no, you know that'll why? never happen because she, she's married to the best woman in the whole world. She's an exception to the rule. She is definitely one of a kind, right? Yes, she is. And you oh, know why? Yeah. Because, she, because you're in love. No, it's not. It, it's it's a you know love why? unlike any other love. No, let me tell you, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Well, go ahead. I'm listening. Because I have faith and God gave it to me. You I'm go. Oh, it's a religious thing. Yes. yes. Well, yes. if you think you're yes. on your knees yes. now, wait just, till later on just, when you're begging for sex. You, you're opposing. Your viewpoint is terrible, man. You're feeding these people crap. No, I'm feeding them the yeah. truth. And, I, and I'm just listening on the radio, just laughing at how you saying, man. You don't have no respect for no, for no one, man. I got plenty of respect. I'm, I'm trying to help the people I respect. The poor victims who stupidly get married and later on have to pay for it. People that listen to your uh, your talk show. Oh, I would don't. You, you should definitely have a higher opinion of yourself than that, Nick. All they are is straight up our classes. That's what well, that's Nick, true. you're a listener. Is that you too? Uh, Which no. Trailer Park I'm are you calling I'm from? Laughing, I'm laughing at how... Well, you are a listener and a caller. Yeah, I'm calling to let you know. So I pathetic. guess you are Trailer Park Trash. You just said that's who listens. You're pathetic, too. You're pathetic, man. Oh, really? You're pathetic. Is that so? How so? Yes. You mean uh, the fact... I, let me understand this. I make a seven-figure income talking to losers like you, and I'm oh, pathetic. That does not matter, but are you married? Yeah, you probably go out and mess with hookers. I know. I don't. I do not mess with hookers. I don't have to mess with hookers. I get all the free sex I want from hot chicks. Oh, you tell me. What? You're a loser. I'm a loser. Yes. Yes, I'm a loser. I can give you that. I give you. I get to have sex with whoever I want any night I want. I've got two beautiful houses. I drive a beautiful luxury car. Money, Tom. Loser with money. How I'm a loser with money. That's yeah. all. That's all the losers without money start talking about the losers with money. Oh, I have money. Man, oh, I yeah. Have money. How much do you have? None of your business. I'm you, not going to tell you. You don't money. have any money, please. But dude, you don't dude. have any money. What do you do for a living? None of your business. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're so full of crap. You're anonymous. You can tell us. You're a loser. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to you're tell a, us. You know why? Because you loser. shine my shoes, pal. But why are you, you are Mr. Tell paper or plastic. Because so, he didn't want you no more. You know, you know Cause what? Because he, he didn't want you no more. I want you why. to take a look at my radiator because the temperature's been getting up there lately, okay? And it, want I, no I want you to shine yeah, my I'm shoes. Getting, I'm getting you ratings right now. I'm getting you ratings. I right want now. you to iron my shirt because I'm going to take you to the dry cleaner. I want you to take care of that. I'll be in to pick it up on Saturday. Right now, Tom. I'm giving you ratings right now. Really? How you doing that? 
Oh, that's uh-huh. right. People tune into my show to hear me talk to morons and yell no, they, at them. They don't want to hear me talk to you to tell you how pathetic you sound. Oh, yes, I sound pathetic. Sure I do. Let's yeah, see how pathetic I sound. Let's see. Let's let's ask the other listeners. I don't even know who they are. They just pick them up at random here. Hey, John. Nick thinks I'm pathetic. What do you think? Hey, come oh, on, John. Tell good. me what you think. John, is mine. I'm yeah. out of my mind. Yeah, you are. Let me tell you something about marriage and all you other young guys out there. You need to stay away from it. If you're getting it from a woman, keep getting it without getting married. Once you do. It's all over. Everything changes. It, it, it's not over, man, because you know okay. why? My, my, uh, my wife, she makes a six-figure income, dude. I'll tell you what. And she, and all she, hookers she, do. And she takes you care of me. So tell me, tell me I don't have it good. There you go. I'm not, I'm not using right. it for the money. Oh, so in other words, you don't, you don't do anything to earn a living. You live off your wife. I know. I don't live off my wife, buddy. No, you do. You're afraid to tell us what you do for a living. Don't get mad at me. Don't hit the point. That's because that's because you've been doing the smog checks now for three years, huh? Don't hit the player, hit the game, Tom. Oh, please, don't, don't please. Player, the game, hey, Jim, what do you think about Nick here? Nick thinks I'm pathetic. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'm just getting an earful. The guy is so far from knowing anything. First of all, he's 23 years old. He doesn't know a darn thing yet. Wait till he's 42. Had a few kids. You know... Well, you know, not how do you make it out to be, Nick? And they're garnishing his wages to pay the child support. You got it. You got it. Uh, sorry. Maybe no, he's no. going to be living with his buddies. You know, he yeah, may not I'm have a house to live in. Uh-huh. All I'm just saying is I'm happy laughing. to be married. You're going to be crying. Saying, so what, what, what's, what's wrong with being happy uh, to be married? What's wrong with that, Tom? I just want to find out. What's well, wrong with uh, you know, Forrest Gump was pretty happy. Gump, what's you, what's wrong you wrong? idiot. What's wrong with being married? Oh, what's I can't take this me? anymore. Tom Likas. Yo, bro. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Likas 101. I am your professor. Let's say hello here to... Uh, oh, yeah. Karen on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. I just have a really big problem with you, Tom, and you're going to cut me down, and you're going to say I'm fat and ugly, which, by the way, you have no right to be saying that to anybody. Oh, I have every right. <laughs> I have every right to say that. Uh, God bless America. It's called the First Amendment, dude. Regardless, why do you always have to cut people down who do not agree with Because you? it made me number one, darling. Oh, you know what? Does that, if that's all that matters to you, yes, then... that's why I'm here. Okay, well, I, I totally disagree with a lot of things you say. There are some crazy girls out there, but to preach things to people, and I understand it's your shtick. I'm in this industry. I completely understand that, but these people believe everything you say, and I cannot believe that you 100% agree with this. Well, it doesn't matter whether you think I believe that or not. The fact is... Uh, that as far as uh, drawing male listeners, nobody does it like we do. And my job is to get as many listeners as possible so that the advertisers get the best possible results and we can charge a good buck for our advertising. That's my job, and I'm honest about it. Well, and I completely understand that, and there are definitely a few advertisers. There's a certain advertiser that will advertise on your station. Yes, and many of them are blue chippers. If you listen in during the breaks, you will hear some of the blue chippers who advertise. I just, I just think that there's a lot of young, impressionable men out there who are getting the wrong idea. No, they're getting the right idea. Well, I have to say that you're you're tainting a lot of people. How so? And and and, 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 and the problem is, is that there's a lot of, and I do agree with that guy. A lot of these people are white trash who listen. Mm. I do not usually listen. I have satellite radio. I guess you have. I guess you haven't seen the Scarborough study on uh, on this program. I know your demographic. No, no, you don't. You don't know the psychographics of the program if you're going to make comment like that. This is what I do. My recommendation, well, I'll tell you what. I, you tell me which Scarborough report you read and what what some of the uh, details are, and I'll see if you did read it. What, so your demographic is high-end college grads who yes. are 100000 yes. or more. Actually, average household income is among the highest in this market, yes. I just honestly, these are the people who actually. Well, if you've read it, you already know this. 
If you have read this, you already know it. They're listening for pure entertainment value. I don't care what they're listening for. My job is not to worry about what people listen for. By the way, people listen to Kiss FM for pure entertainment value. They listen to Coast for pure entertainment value. My job is to get the most number of people listening and to get the response for the advertisers. And I do. That's my job, and I'm honest about it. Well, what I don't understand is... Why can't you be honest about the fact you never read the Scarborough Research? You have no idea what the psychographic of this program is. You have no idea how wealthy the listeners are, how well-educated they are. You base your entire conversation on what you hear 12 callers an hour say out of, out of half a million listeners in Los Angeles alone. Why? I've seen you at Laker Dance before with a girlfriend. This has how nothing you- to do... Is, uh, and you have not seen me. You, by the way, you have not seen me at Laker games with a girlfriend. I have not been. I have not been at a Laker game with a woman in years. No, but a couple years ago, I saw you with an Asian woman more than once, and supposedly she that was, was that was no, no. And by the way, that's my ex-wife. You idiot. Oh, and that's um, eight years ago, you dork. Okay, but you're preaching something that you've done. You're a hypocrite. I, I, no, I'm not a hypocrite because I've been very honest about the fact that I've been married and divorced. You know, you, you, and you, you call in here, you don't know what you're talking about. You have no idea. You are un, you are, you are not armed for this conversation. You're not properly armed. You don't have the, you don't have the goods. And to sit here and say that a man, he, 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 he can change your oil? That's completely rude. Right. Well, you just, you can't have it both ways. You can't tell me that the audience is a bunch of losers, and then when I tell a caller that he can change my oil, say that there's something wrong with that. You yourself are saying they're a bunch of losers. A lot of them seem very uneducated. Well, are they losers or not? Oh, so if they're uneducated, then changing my oil would be an appropriate profession for them, wouldn't it? It's just not a nice thing to do. And it's I'm not a nice person. You want nice? Turn on Mark Wallengren on Coast, for Christ's sake. This is not a nice show. This is not what we do. Our target audience is guys. So We're not playing love songs, and we are not here to kiss the ass of the listener. That's not what we do. That's perfectly fine. You know nothing about my business. You know about buying ad time. You don't know about what I do. You don't know what it takes to build an audience in this business. You have no idea. You are in over your... You... I will never do so, anything on your station. Right, right, right. Oh, you mean like you've been doing it already? You know, you haven't been buying it anyway. I'll tell you right now, my client would never be cut dead on this station. That's fine. There are plenty of others who will. So, you know what? I, I guess I guess your client is smarter than McDonald's, oh, uh-huh. Bud Light, Miller Light, uh, Mercedes, Lexus, than that. and better all than the that. other blue chip advertisers. Better than that. Better than that. Oh, better than that. Yes, I know. Yes, but I'll tell you what. You have no class. Blah, blah, blah. And you're disgusting, and you need to go on a diet. Blah, blah, blah. But you are just one bitter broad who can't find the right man, right, and you right. are desperate, you know and you are you're a bitter broad me. like so many other bitter career broads who call in on this program, <laughs> cut, come home alone at night to your right. dog and your oh and, and your and your tapes of. Uh, of Lost or whatever it is you watch on your DVR at night, just right. desperately lonely. Yep, yep, you're right. You're absolutely oh, I know what you are. Believe me, I know your kind. I know your. I know your tribe. I do. I'm not fat and disgusting like you. Right, right, right. Yes, I know. And what, here's the other amazing thing: as disgusting as I am, and as much as you hate this show, you certainly seem to listen an awful lot. No, I don't listen. At oh, all. Well, how can you have all these opinions about the program if you never listen? I just said it. If you try How to can you have opinions about this show if you never listen? I just said it. If you listen... Well, I, no, no, now. you didn't say it. You well, did I'm not. Off to, I'm off to actually a really nice... No, uh, you know what? I'm off you. <laughs> Jesus. Bitter, bitter broad. <sighs> You know what? Go have some Cosmos with the girls. Go watch Sex in the City again. You bitter old broad. Bitch! She's a bitch! Yes, she's a bitch. But she's not only a bitch, she's an ignorant bitch. You know, occasionally, Hillary Clinton's a bitch, but at least she's, like, intelligent, well-spoken, has her facts straight. This woman's just an ignorant bitch. 
Your lashes are a bunch of trailer trash. I can't believe you told the guy to go change your oil. That's mean. Can't have it both ways, sister. Yeah, if your client actually saw the Scarborough research, if your client saw how we draw men in droves with high incomes, high educations, uh, you would never show it to them. You never read it yourself. Believable. 1 800 5 800 Tom. This is Dina on Lagos 101. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Uh, whatever you want it to be. <laughs> no, it's Hello? whatever you want it to be. Um, I don't know. Well, first of all, I think you're very funny. And I think the things that the guys are saying, if that's how they feel, that's how I feel. I just want to know, I want to be a woman that is noticed because I'm beautiful and I'm good to my boyfriend. And I like to have sex and I don't want to have babies and I don't want to have pets. And I want to have a lot of fun. And I think we should be recognized. Like, some of us girls are amazing. Don't you think? Uh, but just because there are doesn't mean we need to marry you. I know, but what if you do want to get married, and what if it does work out? Well, like, they, well there's nothing in it for a man to get married. <laughs> Why not? Because there's no, there's nothing a man gets from getting married that he doesn't get from not getting married. All right, but what if he wants to get married? Then he's ignorant and he doesn't understand. There's no need to sign a contract and put half of everything you've worked for up at risk. That's true. That's true. I give you that. You can have sex. You can have babies. You can be in love. You can have your girlfriend move in with you. You can move in with her. You don't need to sign a contract. Well, what about the wedding? Why would a man need a wedding? Men don't dream of having weddings. That's a woman thing. I know, but if a woman is going to give out for a little bit of a man, don't you think the man should give out a little bit for a woman if you no. do it equally? No. Wedding, a wedding is a big waste of money. Not if it, it's small. It, it is the dream of women to have big weddings, not men. Men could just as easily do without them. Most men would happily elope rather than have a big wedding. So what if you happily elope? What if the woman just wants to just go get married, just you and him and the priest? Uh, again, there's wrong? nothing. They, there's nothing in it for the man to take that risk. Oh my goodness! All right, and I you know it's true. I'll admit it's true. So if there's <laughs> nothing in it for a man, why should I recommend it? I don't know. I just I don't really care about the marriage thing. I just want to put out there that. I don't want to be put as a, a horrible woman if I want to get married. And I do want to get married, but I want to be an amazing wife. Like, I don't want to be lame after 10 years and not want to have sex anymore. Or even after five. No, you say that, but once you've had the baby and once you can't sleep at night and once you're doing 3 a.m. feedings, uh, you, 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 why do you think you're going to be different from everybody else? Because I'm different than everybody else. Well, you don't know that yet, dear. You're 19 years old. You don't know what will happen. Yeah, I do. It's no, I'm gonna make it happen. you don't. I, when I was 19, I had no idea how I would evolve and change and what I would become. I thought I knew. Men are a little bit different. No, no, no. We're people. Yeah, but you're different. You can't foresee what's going to happen in your life. You can't. Look, if people can foresee what's going to happen in their lives, do you think they'd get married? 50% of them end up getting a divorce. Yeah, but 50% stay together. That's not the point. If, if people knew that the likelihood of getting divorced, the odds were even, do you think so many people would get married? Uh, no. but I think Everybody thinks that. they're the exception to the rule. Yeah. But they're not. Oh, my goodness. You are so funny. No, it's so true. Yeah, but it's true and funny at the same time. Laugh it up there, dear. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like it's 101, I am your professor, 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number, it's Tom on the top, Like it show, hello. Hey Tom, thanks for talking to you, how are you today? I'm doing okay. I just wanted to clear up a couple of things about that uh, 
weeping bitch that called about two calls ago, the one with all the demographic information she yeah. thought she had. As she thought she had, yes. Oh, man, I tell you. Well, I I, like to, I think I'm a typical listener, but I'm 42 years old. I make a million dollars a year, and I don't come close to the whatever she refers to, the white trash status. I patronize a couple of your advertisers. I mean, she had absolutely no clue to what she's talking about. What blue chip advertiser do you think she represents? Well, I think it's in her mind, actually. <laughs> I mean, so if women and things doesn't advertise on the Tom White show, <laughs> it's, a big deal, right? it's Ross Dress for Less. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey. well, listen, I just want to clear it up, man, and I really appreciate what you're doing for all the guys out there, man. It's great. Tom, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Yeah, can you take me out there, Snoop Dogg style, and honor that biatch? I certainly can. Biatch. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. Nikki on the Tom Like His Show, Like It's 101. Hello. Hello, Tom, and that's a statement. <laughs> Good. Okay, I just want to say what's interesting is Karen's a weeping bitch, but meanwhile, your little boys call and they complain and cry about how their women hurt their life, but they're not weeping little bitches. <laughs> weeping little bitches? No. Yeah. Oh, they're not. Oh, I. No. So when a woman sits there and has an opinion, she's a weeping bitch. Well, I didn't say that, by the way. Your, your you're quoting, first call. of all, don't mix me up with the callers. Caller makes comment. Well, you do the same thing. No, because I don't. You do. were married five times, and they're all bitches. I, I was not married five story. times. Uh, you are wrong. I was not married no, five times. That's not wrong. Second, uh, yes, no yes, stop. It is wrong. Name the five. Go ahead, Nikki. Who are they? Uh, what? Name the five. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what you're talking about. You just said married five times. Name the five. I don't know how many times you've been married. More than one. You just said you just no. You just told me. I, I said it, no. It was not five, and you said yes, it is. Oh, I thought you said you weren't complaining. I don't know how many times you've been married. All I know is I listen to you complain. Everybody <sighs> oh else complains all the time. When a woman well, why do you keep listening? Opinion. Why? You know what? If it's so offensive to you, why are you still listening? Oh, it's not that it's offensive. It's, you it's, love it's, it's it. It's hypocrisy. You no. love it. You listen no, every but day. Actually, the only reason another thing is a woman. You listen every man. goddamn day, like the other bitch. And you know what? No, I'm not. Yes, I, I, you I, do. I am a lot more controlled, and I'm a lot more in hold of myself than half really? the little boys that call here. Well, going, the only way you're going to get a sensation is to hold yourself. Me. What's that? Oh, your little boys call. They're going. I got hurt, and I got my. And you know what? I got news for you. A woman doesn't need a man. Really? The only the, thing that a man brings to a marriage is his penis. Uh, well, that's what women say who can't get a man like you. No, I got plenty of men. Really? Secondly, I could replace. What is your husband's name? I could replace a. What is your husband's name? Cent cucumber. What is your husband's name? Okay. Seriously. What is your husband's See, the problem name? Is is that everybody calls says, "Oh, you don't need to be married." What is your husband's name? Let me tell you something. What you is know? your husband's name? I'm not going to let you go any further until you tell us your husband's name. I didn't say I had a husband. I would Watch your mouth. You're not going to get... First of all, you're not making any points by cursing on the air, number one. And number two, we're not going to let it on the air. I, I didn't curse. Yes, you did. Okay. Well, anyways, at this point... I You are vulgar, I and you're not going vulgar. to be vulgar on this program. I'm not vulgar. Yes, you are. No. No, what it is, is a woman doesn't need a man at all. Fine. Okay. Then, 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 and, and number the one, is, stop. women should stop begging us, cajoling us, and twisting our arms to get married, number one. And number two, since uh, you don't need a man, why are you continuing to listen to this show? I listen to the show because it makes me laugh. There we go. So you are a regular listener. Absolutely. There I we listen go. all the time because I sit there and I listen to you and I know you sensationalize and I know you're just mm. making money, baby. I know it. Mm. Hey, I can respect that. I can respect cool. that. But the bottom line is, is that as much as your little weeping little boys call up how they got hurt. Are you going to say the same thing? By the way, you need new material. If you're going to continue on, the, if you're going to continue on the air, number one, you can't be vulgar. And number two, you can't repeat the same phrases over and over. You've been on the air now for almost three and a half minutes, and you can't keep repeating the same material. Do you have any other material? I'm asking you a question. Do you have any other material? <laughs> no, I don't have any other material. Thank you. 
It's called caller euthanasia. I had to put that call out of its misery. Put us out of our misery, too. 1-800-5800-TOW. It's Teresa on Like Is 101. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Long-time listener. First-time caller. Long-time um, listener. First-time caller. <laughs> <laughs> I am from South America. Really? Yes. Where in South America? <laughs> I am from Lima, Peru. Very nice. And I take care of myself and all that stuff. And I used to hate you, Tom. I used to hate you. I used to hate what you had to say. You know, I got married to this to this wonderful guy. And he swept me off my feet, gave me everything I wanted, gave me two beautiful kids. And guess what, Tom? I gained weight. Oh, boy. Yeah. Then I what happened? Weight. And and he had an affair with his, his secretary. Uh-huh. Yep. And you know what I did? I started listening to you. You know, we were separated for a while and um, started a business. You know, now I work part-time. I'm back together with my husband. We're doing great. I lost all the weight. I kept up my appearance. You know, I was a model when he met me. And I, I owe it to you because us women, we can't let ourselves go. We have to take care of our man. And that's what I learned from you. And, and it's, I mean, that's just the facts. I'll it's tell you something. Lazy. I would tell you something. Uh, I have been to Peru, been to Argentina, been to Colombia. Uh, if you were in those countries, you would never have, have let yourself go like that. You'd been in the no, United right. States too long and you, you yes. become Americanized. That's why you did that. You're right. But I lost all the weight. I'm back down to the exact same weight when he met me. He treats me wonderfully. He buys me whatever I want. I have a luxury vehicle. I go shopping all the time. And, um, you know, I just, that's a very good lesson to learn for us women. You know, we have to keep up our appearance. We have to take care of our men. We have to cook for them, take care of them, baby them, and they will baby us right back. Aren't you amazed how bitter some of these women are who call in here? You know, I think just, they're just being lazy. Yeah. Point blank. And they're bitter because that, that one in particular, she's just jealous because she can't find a guy. I think so. I think if you need to marry, if you're, I know you advise the guys not to get married, but if you marry a career woman, a woman that's totally into career, it's one or the other. She's, she's either going to be, you know, um, dedicated to you or dedicated to her career. You know, so, you know, if you have to hook up with a woman, choose carefully. Absolutely. Thank you, Tom. Teresa, thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Drea is listening to the online stream in Cincinnati on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how are you today, Tom? I'm great. Well, it's good to hear. I'm loving this show, gotta say. I really agree with you, man. You're pretty awesome. Thank you. You're pretty awesome. And I'm sorry that, that all of the female kind keeps calling in and bashing you, because really, if they take five seconds to listen to what you say, they might learn something. Really. Seriously. Because any successful woman is going to agree with what you have to say. If you're a successful woman and you're, you're respectful of yourself, you're not going to have a problem with signing a prenup when you get married. You're not going to have a problem with that. You're going to say, okay, I got my own. I mean, That's I'm right. sorry, but these, these little chicks calling in and going, oh, my God, I'm married because I'm in love. I'm like, please, love is fleeting. Absolutely. I have the itchy, itchy, itchy rash.